So now we're going to copy lots of things that we've recorded already to create our finished track. So let's go to the plus sign and select all sections. Okay, so we should have sections A to D there. So your ruler should now start with number one and finish at number 16. It's only showing every second number. So I've got 13, 15, but there's where my bar 16 would be. Okay. Now the jingle bells, we just need to copy and paste into this section. So I'm going to double tap on a section of coffee shop, tap copy, and then put my ruler guide arrow at the start of section D, which is bar number 13. And then double tap in the empty space and paste those jingle bells in. Okay. Now tap return so that you can see your plus sign again. And then tap the plus sign and we're going to do some duplicating of sections. So tap section A and tap duplicate. Select section B and duplicate. Select section C and duplicate. And then lastly, select section D and duplicate. So now you should have sections A through to H, four bars each, okay? So we're gonna select section H, so make sure your H is gray, and then tap to come out of that menu. And all we need to do is, we need to get rid of those last long Gs that we recorded so that our piece sounds finished at the end because when you do the C, G, that G is leading you back to the beginning of the tune, which is what we want to do the first time, but at the end we want it to sound finished. So we are going to edit these notes. So you're going to double tap on the top piano track and on this menu here, you're going to select Edit. Okay, and now you're seeing a close-up view of all these chords. Now this last stack at the end here, this is our G chord that we want to remove. So up in the top left, we need to turn on Editing. So I'm swiping that pencil to the right and it turns red. And now if I just touch these notes, they will disappear. So you have to be very careful. You're only removing that last stack of notes, okay? So once your last bit looks like this with the C chord and then an empty space, you can tap Done. Next, double tap on the piano bass track, the second one down. Select Edit, come up to the top left and swipe right to turn on the pencil and then come to the very last note down here in the bottom right and tap on that to delete. Go up to the top and tap Done. Okay, now in the Jingle Bells track, we want to remove the last three so that our last sound on the Jingle Bell lines up with these final chords. So double tap on Jingle Bell track and select Edit. Okay, so we're going to remove these last three here on the end. So we'll go up to the top left, turn on our pencil for editing and just tap the last three and then done. And we've only got this note left to remove down here on the melody track. So we'll double, tra double tap on the melody track, select edit. Now we can't see these notes immediately because they're quite high pitched. So we need to scroll until we find those high pitched notes. And there's our last note that we want to get rid of. So we're going to turn on that pencil in the top left, 
and tap to delete that note there, okay? Then tap done in the top right. And bar number 32 should now look like this. You should have one sound going down in a pile like that on top of each other. And then you should have empty space, okay? So now you can tap the plus sign and select all sections, tap return and have a listen and you should hear the tune of Jingle Bells going through twice and finishing with that single C chord. <laughs> 